how did we meet? As far as knowing each other, um, our parents were in the same youth group together way back at Glad Tidings Tabernacle. So as far as families are concerned, we'd, know, we'd known each other. But when it came to us noticing each other, that's a different topic. And part of that links all the way back to this church, which was home church for our family at that stage. And Dad was kind of the mission secretary for the church. And so when the national conference was on in 1967, Dad had, had arranged with Des Greer, Glenys's brother, Des is where? Over here. Uh, Dad had arranged with Des Greer to go down to the national conference for the missions night. And so, as it turns out, Glenys was going as well because of her missions call uh, that she knew about and I didn't. Uh, and Dad called me late in the, that afternoon and said, hey Kev, I've been called out at work. I can't go. I've called Des and arranged for you to go, knowing your interest in missions. And so if you just turn up at, at, at the Greer's household at Kalinga, at such and such a time, Des will swing by and, and pick you up. And so it turned out that Glenys and I were then in the car going to a missions event at Burley Heads at the National Conference. So that got us there. And then it was after the service that it it was getting late. Kev had to start work early and I think I was on a nine o'clock shift as well to be back at work next morning. And a fine gentleman by the name of Kevin Hovey came along and offered to pick up the blanket. So together we're walking out to the car and I said to him, you heard what they said tonight, they need mechanics. You're a mechanic, you should think of going to Papua New Guinea. To and which he... I responded, you're a nurse, you heard them say they need nurses in Papua You heard them say they need nurses in Papua New Guinea. You ought to think about going. To which she replied... I'm going. <laughs> to which I replied, I'll beat you there. <laughs> and that's how we became that's aware the of each other. first time we noticed each other. <laughs> Even though... um, how much pre-marriage counselling did you do? <laughs> you ever seen a ship uh, oh, I don't know, about to be birthed at a, you know, come to port? Uh, it was arrival time. Kevin and Glenn were getting married. Now, I performed the ceremony on that occasion, yeah. <laughs> so you've had it all proven to you, Kevin and Glennis, that uh, you've committed yourselves to the Lord in young life, and then God has led you forward into his calling, and you've done all that, and now 50 years has gone by, and you say, look at what the Lord has done. The Lord of yesterday, the provider of yesterday, the one who called you in the yesterday of life through for 50 years, and has proved faithful, he's the one that's holding your hand today and he'll take you forward until we meet around his throne, right? Somebody else can call you. What's your favourite photo? My favourite photo? That's all right. This is what it's all about that day. This hat. The folk that you've been talking to, you can all hear me, can't you? No. Yeah, the folk that you've been up here interviewing and talking about there. That's what it was all about 50 years later? Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Just the same. Yeah, Nothing's yeah. changed, right? Yeah. Commitment, faithfulness, it's all there. So that's, that's the wedding photo. That's Kevin and Glennis, Les and Leanne, and Ted and Glennis.